Hello. Welcome to the studio. Today we're going to be working on this little bad boy. This used to be a channel switcher, but I never used it, so I took it apart. There's nothing in it anymore. I used the foot switch to uh, fix another pedal. I drilled some extra holes in it. Those two, this one, and some for some audio inputs and outputs. And uh, today we're going to be sanding down this thing and we're gonna give the new paint job we're gonna solder together and turn this into a um, llama a red llama clone from Music Ding so um, but first up we're gonna um, you know it's 2021 reduce reuse recycling everybody so we're gonna sand this bad boy down and make it look cool turn it into our very own pedal but we're, the point is we're gonna reuse we all, I already used the foot switch for something else um, that came out of this thing. So we're going to reuse the housing as well. Here we go. I sanded both parts down. I probably should go all the way to the steel on both parts. But I can't really be bothered. If I'm super wrong, you can let me know in the comments. But for now, I'm just going to put these in a box and uh, cover it with some primer. Yeah, I've never really done this, but uh, we'll see how it goes, eh? Get some on the other side. Oops, bit of a drip there. Man, this is really satisfying. We're gonna see what this turns into in a bit. Ew. We are back for another round. This time I put the pedal together, or at least the enclosure. And there's a couple of spots here and there that did not get a little bit of primer on the first go. So I'm gonna put it back and uh, give it another give it another spray. Probably gonna be doing it wrong. You can yell at me in the comments. Woo! Here we go. So after spraying, this is what it looks like. This looks good. This looks decent. Oh no, I cooked it. But I think by the time we're done with it, this isn't going to matter too much, the dripping, because we're going to be dripping lots of paint on it anyway. So let's, uh, let's pour some paint on this bad boy. I've mixed up a bunch of colors. I got this nice blue. It's already in here. I got a phthalo green and super bright red. We're going to put them all in here. And then after that, we're going to start pouring the paint onto the pedal. No idea what this color combination is going to look like, but that's part of the fun. Uh, I added in just a tiny bit of white in there as well, just to maybe make the green come alive a little bit. We'll see where this is going to go. It's not really helping that. The pedal is a bit sloped. It's starting to look pretty darn cool. Sorry for the camera work, I'm just too busy focusing on where I'm actually pouring the paint. I feel like the blue is definitely taking over. Well, that's our first little bit. Just gonna grab some of this paint from the side and smear it on. Sometimes it's better to just like make sure everything is covered. First go, because as liquids tend to do, they seek the path of least resistance, but I feel like I mix my blue a little bit too fat as well. Um, 
which is a shame because I really like the green and I really like the um, the red but right now there's not a whole lot of it so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go back to my colors pour on some more first I gotta get rid of this I especially enjoyed the green bits along with the reds they made a really cool I don't know just a cool cool combination nice that's starting to look better drip on there green why not do your thing get in there boom there you go there you go and this green is looking awesome mixed in with a bit of the white go ahead and make your way down cool I like where that's going I'm just gonna grab a little paint on my finger once again try to touch up some of these sides because I'm not entirely sure if they're gonna be covered all the way so the painting portions done um, the blue ended up eating a lot of the red and uh, I guess the green as well so I ended up reapplying the red a bunch of times to make it stand out it is gonna be a, a red llama overdrive after all and um, I think it's really cool from up close there's lots of stuff happening I hope you can see it on camera uh, from afar it looks a little bit messy but who knows what it's going to look like when we actually varnish it and um, this always changes a little bit of color too while it's drying so we'll see what happens eh? for now I'm gonna go home see you later welcome back everybody it's day two I got my painted pedal as per usual with doing the pouring I find it quite hard to get a good I don't know composition from afar it looks kind of like I don't know messy there's all kinds of cool stuff happening up close though like I really like the way it looks from up close um, there's lots of I don't know texture in it and weird detail however um, a couple things I don't really like is that it's quite dark and especially this piece um, over on the sides the bottom took a little bit of uh, I don't know like the paint didn't quite attach to the bottom or when I took the paint off of the or the, the parts off of my little drying station uh, I need hooks I need hooks so they can dry floating around and not lying on some piece of bin bag so we're gonna touch these up a little bit I'm gonna go over with another layer see if we can spice them up yeah. I mixed up some funky greens some white here goes oh yes and we let it run a little bit I don't mind it if it's textured I think some people might have something against it but I like it when petals are funky looking now that is looking way more spectacular alright that'll do it the petals done I think it turned out great. It's got some cool colors. It's got some really cool wobbly texture in the top layer. I kind of like that. Yeah, I'm just super happy to have given the enclosure that was just sitting in my cabinet and had no use. Given it a new life. Uh, the insides is now a Red Llama Overdrive. Uh, it's a clone. I purchased all the parts from Musique Ding. They shipped to where I'm at in the Netherlands. And I didn't film the soldering because I figured it was kind of boring. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with how this thing turned out. Maybe we'll play it for a bit. Yeah.